New South Wales Transport. Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to install the Ruby TMIX plugin for Google SketchUp and Train Simulator 12. In this video I'm going to show you how to download the plugin, install it and use it to export models into trains from Google SketchUp. First thing you've got to do is open up the internet, go to Google and type in to the search bar Ruby TMIX. It'll be the first result to come up. Go to the website and scroll down to the link to download the version 120 zip file. Save the file to your documents and let it download. Before you install it, it is a good idea to open SketchUp 8 and check that as a vanilla version it is running correctly. You notice at the top bar there is currently no plugin option. Close SketchUp and locate the zip file once it is finished downloading. Inside there are three items, a Ruby TMX folder, the user's guide PDF file and a .rbs file. The user's guide contains a lot of very important information about using the software including any legal things that might arise from using it, its functions and capabilities as well as a lot of very handy installation instructions complete with plenty of pictures to make it easy. After that go to the zip file and select the RubyTMX folder and the .rbs file. Hit Control c or copy and head over to the computer's C drive, program files 86, the Google folder and SketchUp 8. Within the SketchUp 8 folder is a plugins folder. Go in there and hit Control V to paste the files in. Like so. Once you've done that, run SketchUp again to check it as installed. You will see there is now a plugin bar at the top. If you click on that, it has a Ruby TMX drop down with three options export to trains, configuration, and about. The one we're going to look at first is the configuration tab. This brings up a configuration dialog box. In here it's got a box for your trains user ID which you get when you register your copy of trains, your author name, organization, email, contact, license, etc. etc. The important ones to have are your user ID number, like mine here, and username. In the queues box, it you must select the next queued number to use. Since I've been using this a while, I'm up to 22030. When you first install it, it will be something like 21000. And for modern version of trains, use the Q2 notation. And my current build is trains 3.5. Once you've configured that, simply click Save Settings and Close Dialog, and you're ready to begin. What you then do is you then either create or open your SketchUp file. In this case, I will be opening one I've prepared from earlier, which will be the Sydney Harbour Bridge. This file is available on the 3D Warehouse and is published by ILE Soft 82. This is a rather highly detailed model and should be a bit of a challenge for Ruby to export, but should work nonetheless. What you do is you go at File, Save As select a folder and you must create a new folder for the file to be kept in. This folder will be called Sydney Harbour Bridge. Once you've done that, go into the folder and save your file. It is extremely important that you have your SKP SketchUp file saved in its own folder. Failure to do this may result in damage to other SketchUp files contained within the same folder. Once you've done that, go to Plugins, 
Ruby TMIX and export to trains. It will come up with this export dialog box. At the top it shows you the number for the KUID file and various other details. Description can be left as the default description Ruby provides or you can create your own. Kind refers to the sort of object you're creating, in this case a scenery object. Category class is a two letter code used by trains to identify things. In this case it is a building which is the BR. The era is the time period your model is suitable for. In this case I'm going to change it to 1930s as the Sydney Harbour Bridge was opened in 1932. And the region is a two letter code for the country, in this case AU for Australia. Once you've done that you're ready to export. Click the export model and let Ruby export. In the event you're exporting a very large file with more than 25,000 polygons you will get this warning. In this case with my graphics card I'm able to continue without worry so I click yes to continue the export. Once it has finished exporting you will be given the export results dialog box. In this box down here in the process summary it will give you some details about the file it's exported and here is the important part this is the folder where the things that it has exported are now contained namely the Ruby TMIX output folder. What you should do is just as a handy tip is hit Control A to select that whole address and Control C to copy just to make the import process easier. Once you've done that open up the trains launcher dialog and go to content manager once in content manager go to file import content and where it has the folder address bar simply p hit control V to paste the address and content manager will automatically install the content from the folder that will be created if you go up to the my content tab on it it should make it much easier to find and here it is, the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Ruby has created the default description and has also created a thumbnail to use. Simply right click and hit download and once you have the green tick you are then ready to use the model in trains. Fire up the launcher again and hit start. Go into select route and edit your desired route, in this case my New South Wales based mainline route. Once in your route go to the objects tab on the right hand side and in the search bar I'm going to type in Sydney Harbour and there it is, the Sydney Harbour Bridge. If I turn around I've got a large body of water here, simply click and there it is. That's not a rather good spot to have it. Let's try over here. And you will see this is the exported model. And that is all there is to it. You have now ex I've now exported the Sydney Harbour Bridge to trains and it is ready to be placed in any world and used. And there you have it, that is how you use Ruby TMIX to install a model into trains. And that is the end of this tutorial, hope you enjoyed it and goodbye.